Oh, what do you say? We're going to sit him up right here. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he told him. <laughs> That's crazy that he said that. He's, he's telling right now already. Jesus. I guess I guess so. Says he wanted to make a phone call. I'm calling Jeff. Jeff don't want to talk to you. I mean, Rockets meeting they're probably over with. I mean, I mean it because they're at the time is after ours. True, it is late. It's late hours. I'm ready. He's not gonna answer. Short summer for you. Yes, it was. Similar, similar vibe to last year of guys being together already talking, ready to get back to work. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, I, I've been ready, man, for a while. And I know these guys have as well. Um, you know, the season this year, you know, we, we, it's time to get ready to, to start our new journey and, and trying to get another championship. So um, this is just fun for us right here. Like, we, we enjoy this time, just get back into the flow of things and, and, and just – Get ready for it. There's always changes in this league. When you see everything that went on in last week or two or three, you feel like, hey, they're coming to get the Nuggets. Of course. You know, uh, you, 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 you always think that when things like that happen in the summer times, uh, you know, we, we the team on top. Well, we the team with the target on our back. Uh, so I feel like just everybody's trying to load up just to, you know, just to knock us down. Uh, and we're going to be ready for that. DJ, with Jeff and Ish moving on, do you think you have more standard? Uh, no. Um, I think, uh, you know, that's going to be a collective effort. I think it was that way last year. We just had multiple vets on the team who were able to do it throughout the course of the season. Um, however, those guys will definitely be missed. Um, but I think that the three of us, along with KCP and other veterans, Reggie, um, were able to kind of instill that into um, a lot of the guys last year. So I think it'll be a collective effort. DeAndre, I'm, I'm not sure if all of us really appreciated, especially at the beginning of the season, just how important your veteran contributions were going to be to the team. Mm. Uh, just speaking on that and speaking on, on being in this league as, as long as you have been, just when did you know that that was going to be something you wanted to do for this group? Um, well, I think it's something that I've done throughout my career, um, not just with this group. Um, this group it was really important because ultimately we won a championship and it helped us win that. But um, it wasn't last year wasn't my first year doing that for teams. Um, I think it just got publicized more because of how good we were and um, the, the things that we did last season. Yeah, I'm good. You're just hoping you play for as long as you want. But have you considered being a coach in this league? Uh, that's a lot of stress for a person. He couldn't deal with that. I'm, I'm not. Um, <laughs> it sounds awesome. However, um, I'm focused on being a basketball player right now. Uh, if that time comes, then you know I'm sure I'll – needs KCP on my staff to help calm me down because we're, we're competitors and it's, it's tough, but um, you're not the first person who said that, so I, it's kind of like in the back of my mind, but we'll see. I mean, how much do you enjoy the mentorship part of that? Yeah, I, I, I enjoy that, and I think even with being a coach, you're still competitive. You still want to win, so I think that that's instilled in all of us as players. Um, but like you said, the mentorship part is, is, is amazing, not only for bigs, but just for guys in general, guards, whoever. Um, you want to see guys get better and incorporate certain things that you've learned throughout your journey from vets, from yourself, uh, and help them get a head start for their career. What was it like to watch the summer? Uh, it was great. I think that we were all having the, the type of summers that he was having, just, you know, away from cameras and stuff. No, but he uh, he's supposed to celebrate like that. We all were um, doing something that we did. For the first time in franchise history, is supposed to be celebrated, and um, we did a lot of that. And I think that it was uh, something that every champion is supposed to do. You're supposed to take that moment in and appreciate it and be in the present. Um, but it's time for us to go back to work now, and um, 
you know, we're able to flip that switch too. And, and plus, that moment that you flip the switch, like when do you know, all right, that's enough celebrating? Next year. Uh, Last night? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I mean, everybody have that different switch, I, w- I would say. You know, um, I, for me, for me, it just, it's just when I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm falling out of the loop or I'm getting too lazy as far as, like, uh, just sitting around, not doing anything, uh, I feel like that's, for me, that's my switch when it turns on. Um, and... Hopefully, I, I didn't have a, a long summer, but I got as much work in as I could um, and still also enjoy, you know, being a champion. Um, I think that's the, the biggest key is just uh, balancing that out uh, as far as, like, having fun, enjoying yourself, and also just, just getting that work in because next season is coming up pretty short. So, KCP, first off, congratulations. Oh, uh, thank you. In Greenville, Georgia, not Augusta, but Greenville, Georgia, close enough. <laughs> when this year you're getting ready for another run, how do you prepare the guys in the locker room for coming off the championship, being the veteran, being the leader? Like, what is your message for the locker room? Uh, my message would, would, would be pretty much the same. Uh, but like, just like I, I said in another interview, you know, we have the same goal, but we just want to approach it different um, and have a different mindset as far as like getting to that um, that point. Um, I feel like uh, we got we got more diff- we got different players that's coming. Um, we got most of the same guys that's back, so they understand. But it's just all about just getting everyone else to buy into, you know, <coughs> what we have here and and, and how we're gonna accomplish our goal. For both of you guys, it's not that you put in more work than you know other best, but as best have been doing this for so long. How rewarding is it now that we got past the celebration? I've seen you check out the trophy a bunch. Mm. Oh, no. All those years, you know, from the time you picked the ball, culminates in, in something you've already done, or that's the last one, but have finally achieved it. Both. Well, I'll, for, I'll say for me, uh, I only have one KCP has two. Um, so for me, um, you know, it took me 15 years to be able to accomplish a team accolade like this and that's a very very long time some players don't make it out of certain rounds and um you know just to be able to finally get to this point uh with a group of guys that i love and will be forever bonded um it was amazing man uh it makes all the ups and downs and the heartbreaks that you experience each april may whatever it was the seasons prior it makes it all worth it so <laughs> Nah, it's, it's it's still a championship. Though. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you no, know, regardless of how I got it, but um, I would just I'll pick it back off what he said. You know, even though I got two, it took you know some guys like he said doesn't doesn't reach this this point at all in their whole career. Um, and being able to just you know having this dream of being in the NBA as a little kid, and then also seeing other teams win championship and how. Excited and, and, and amazing that that felt when I when I seen it, you know, and just now just having two of my own, I'm still shocked, you know. I, I still get you no know, chills of even just looking at the trophy, you know, just reminiscing about you know the win, um, stuff like that, and it, it just makes you excited to, to want more, uh, and that's that's my mindset and my goal. Um, no. It's kind of hard to. I wanted them back. Yeah, it's kind of hard to want to go somewhere else when you win the title with um, a group of guys like this. So I don't know what uh, Jeff was thinking, but um, (laughs) it's all good. I'm very happy for him. Yeah. Um, it was good. I mean, I, I still haven't met him in person or like shook his hand. Uh, but just going to the game, supporting, uh, just seeing what he's doing to the city of Boulder, you know, uh, and and the team and the school up there, man, it's great just to see all the fans and, like, everybody's coming out and supporting. Uh, so I, I think it's a great thing that he's doing. Uh, and with, with the team, the organization, uh, and one day I get to meet him, one day.
KCP, what's the hardest thing about trying to repeat, and what do you take from your time in LA that you can apply to? Uh, I would say the hardest thing to to try to repeat is just keeping the team together. I think that's one of the hardest things uh, any organization who, who won a championship is hard to do uh, because you have guys like you no know, Bruce, Jeff. You know they had great playoff series in which they had other team that to uh, you know pull them apart uh, from us. Um, but that's I think that's the hardest thing you take from it. Uh, <coughs> Try to keep the game, the team is uh, together as much as possible. Uh, but that's one of the hardest things to do. How happy were you guys for Bruce getting the contract that he got in Indiana, and then on the other side of it, what are you going to miss about it most here on this roster? I mean, we we were truly uh, excited. You know, we're excited for anybody that gets, you know, their contract or get on a team or whatever it may be. You know, we 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 screaming excited. Uh, you no, know, like DJ said earlier. We, Maybe a little sad that we might miss them, you know, uh, because they both were big parts of our championship team. Uh, but I'm looking forward to even just playing against them, you know, and having that, that great camaraderie on, on the court. And just, you know, for me, uh, I'm going to miss Bruce on the defensive end. Uh, he was one of my my, my dogs on, on that end. Uh, and I'm going to miss him a lot, for sure. Do you guys think so? I don't think so, uh, but you know, when you're on top, you know you, you're gonna always, uh, you know, have adjustments that that you we have to deal with, and then teams have to deal with too. Like they they still have to, you know, guard our our, our starting five, you know, which we still have to. That, that's together, and then plus everybody that's got drafted or uh, the second years coming off the bench. You know, Christians. I'm I'm really excited about him stepping into that that role and picking up more minutes. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like everybody's you know trying to just build up a team, you know, so we you know, to knock us off. To my untrained eye, Joker was even better last season than it was when he won the first MVP. Where is where can he go from here? Is there anywhere else for him to go? Quote me now. He should have won his third one, uh, but you no, know, he wanted something a little more better, I guess. Uh, we got the Larry O'Brien Trophy, and he got another MVP with, within the finals. So uh, I feel like Jokic, I feel like you know the sky's the limit for him. You know, he's he's still young, he's still he's getting better every day, every year, uh, and I just I, I love. You know, just being his teammate and being being a part of like his accomplishments um, and, and the team accomplishments. Yeah. Can you talk about what Green and Bam Bam mean to you two, and not only for the team but also for the city and the fans with their experiences before? Uh, <clears throat> I think for me it'll be extremely exciting. I'm sure it'll be emotional, um, but just to be able to experience that, actually see our rings in person, and um, hang a banner that, like I said before. Uh, no other team has done in this franchise's history. I think that's amazing. Um, but also you think about guys like Jeff and Ish and Bruce and Thomas Bryant and Jack White who won't be able to experience that, the yeah. full effect like we will be able to. Um, but, you know, they'll still get their rings at some point. But um, I think that's something that we'll have to take in every second of and then obviously, you know, get ready for a game a, a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, about what now? What was the question? Lakers and the Nuggets are a big conversation after the championship. During the offseason, it's still big. People have like strong expectations given for the season. Competition going on. Uh, I I don't see no competition like between us. Uh, I I feel like you know whoever gets in between them lines uh, against us, you know. We, <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna play to win, you know. I, I, I feel like you know, just having them, them two comparisons. They were both great teams uh, that I won a championship with. Um, but just for me, I'm, I'm, I was so excited just to even go through them to get it, uh, and excited to even play them on to get my uh, the first game when I get my rings.
just to, just to see them, you know. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be a great competition. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, you know, just to have fun and also just accepting that ring and, and, and getting a dub at the same time. You know, I, I feel like that's, a, that's enough said right there. One more. I know you guys probably aren't thinking about failure much coming off of winning a championship, but you've mentioned the heartbreak that, Experience. What is your relationship with failure, and how do you plan to like, teach those lessons to the young, the young bench that you have now? I mean, gotta fall to get up, right? Uh, I mean, failure is it's just it's a part of life. Um, it, it happens. I mean, it, it defines who you are. You know, at, at that moment, either you get up or you stay down. Um, I feel like for us, you know, we we had our ups and downs through this um, last year. Um, as far as like just dealing with stuff inside the locker room, outside the locker room, you know, whatever it may be, um, we dealt with a lot of uh, adversity, um, and we came out on top. You no, know, we not we didn't let it define out define who we were. Uh, we we wanted to be champions, uh, and that's what happened. Thank you, fellas, and, thank you. and ladies.